Hello everyone, welcome back to Kerbal Space Program. So today we are starting up a new project. This is the Easter Egg Hunter project. Yes, the long awaited project. Now this project, uh, it was an idea I had several, several months ago. Actually, before we even started the Sun Station, that was one of the options. Uh, I actually gave you guys the option to do either the Sun Station or sort of go around and find all the Easter eggs, which is what we are doing now. The Sun Station is, uh, it's all done. So yeah, and it was quite an amazing finish as well. Uh, it did take quite a bit of time to to do, but yeah, an amazing an amazing ending. If you haven't seen the ending, you should watch it. It's pretty good. Pretty good. Um, anyway, so we are currently designing the carrier ship. Yes, I'll just call this the Air Force carrier ship for now. I don't actually have any official name for this design. So I'm going to let you guys choose the name. So I don't know, trying to make it a unique des unique name. Uh, I don't usually get too many comments. So if you do actually comment, then your the name that you post will most likely be, be the one that's actually chosen, given that it's a, a good and appropriate name. I don't know. I don't know what kind of name you guys are going to make up. Make it interesting, make it sound cool, or some sort of Easter egg hunter related somehow. <laughs> you can call it the rabbit, the rabbit ship. <laughs> you get it, Easter egg, yeah, kind of. We usually have like the rabbit, uh, the chocolate rabbits during Easter eggs, so I guess this would sort of fit the name, <laughs> kind of. Nah, I'll let you guys choose, that's a privilege for you guys to do. Um, so, uh, if you may be wondering, Heretic. Is, a lot of you guys are asking this question. Heretic, carrier ships are not open. The, ca the cargo should not be viewable from the outside. At the moment, well, th that's the way this design is. We can actually see all the cargo from the outside to the inside. We can see everything, every single bit of cargo that will be on the inside. Now, the advantage, disadvantage, so on and so forth, I will mention them now. Uh, advantages, first off, Everything is very compact. We can fit quite a few uh, crafts within this carrier ship. If you're even going to call it a carrier ship. It's it's a carrier ship, but with a difference. That's for sure. <laughs> um, so yeah, it's compact. Uh, secondly, you can fit... like You can actually take dock any design and undock them without any problems. Because if I was going to create a carrier ship with... You know, of course, the outside covered and everything. Um, the issue is, like, you might actually struggle putting designs inside the carrier ship. But in this case, we've got open areas everywhere. So it's very easy to dock anything in any spot and then take it out, given that there is enough room. Um, here's the thing. At the very top, I've got... We've got three levels for this carrier ship. The very first level, uh, the top level, not the one with the... The part with the rovers there, I've actually got rovers there uh, already placed. Quite a few, I think it was more three rovers, yeah, they work, they seem to be working. Uh, I've tested them as well, so there we go. Um, so that's the first level, is just pretty much all small type of rover class designs, sort of. The second level is moderate size, and then the last level is uh, rocker max sized, or maybe... Some sort of aircraft with large wings. That's what would be there. So that's where we've designed it. And this thing should theoretically take us to uh, all the planets and moons. But the thing is, we will definitely have to refill it a couple times. Maybe more than, definitely more than a couple times. Which is fine. Uh, interplanetary dockings and stuff like that is my expertise now. After the sun station, we did a lot of interplanetary doggings. Too many to be told. <laughs> a lot of you guys that did download the my profile from the Sun Station, I did uh, provide the link to the description in the description somewhere. Uh, you can go ahead and find see how many um, how many uh, refill ships I I took to the Sun Station. But anyway, that's that's unrelated. Um, so yeah, uh, this design kind of I have not really tested it to go like to other planets, but I do know it will work. So that's good. Uh, and this, yeah, you guys are wondering, what's going on there, Heretic? That's very dangerous. Why didn't you turn off the engines? Yeah, I didn't actually turn off those engines. I couldn't be bothered. And it turns out that you don't need to turn off these engines because they really just uh, propel themselves away from the this whole carrier ship, which is really cool. And it gives it a cool effect. 
and you guys might be able to see the the flame out effect from those engines all those turbojet engines flaming out at the same time pretty cool yeah very nice okay uh first of all another thing we're not using any mods no mods for this series yeah i did ask some of you guys in the comments well some of you guys did comment and said that you know you should heretic you should use this and that mod but instead we're not going to use any mods and you may be asking me why reason is because i i want to prove to everyone that you can enjoy the game you can do everything in the game the way it is now without any mods you can a lot of people use mechjib you you can do without mechjib mechjib is an easier way to do things you can use one thing that is kind of essential for finding east eggs is the the map sat mod uh which essentially just maps out the topography of a planet or moon and will detect any alum anomalies yeah i hope i didn't mispronounce that but yeah, it would detect any sort of location where the Easter eggs are. Um, because it is difficult to find out where all the Easter eggs are. In fact, I did find a website, I might include it in the description, that has a map of every single planet and moon uh, with the the details of where each Easter egg is. Okay, it actually gives you the coordinates and, it, you know, actually shows you on the map of where an Easter egg is. But that's still not very helpful. I've actually tried to go ahead and find her an Easter egg, but have been unable to. So, uh, again, it will be a bit troublesome, but we'll get there. No mods, again. But after doing this series and after visiting, you know, most or every single Easter egg there is, uh, you guys should uh, find it easy just by watching the video. You'll be able to see where everything is from there. So there we go. Now, uh, the staging on this design is not very good. It's a bit messed up, actually, because of all those rovers. Uh, you know, we've got the couplers, we've got the engines, and so on and so forth. We don't have any, excuse me, uh, we don't have any parachutes on these rovers, which could be an issue in the future. But again, we have a lot of docking ports, so anytime we need to, we can easily just dock a whole bunch of rovers, etc., etc., uh, to this design. So there we go. Now, at this point, I did mention that the staging is a bit messed up. It is messed up. It was my bad, actually, because at this point, I pressed spacebar after I moved all these engines. Because I moved these engines so that all the atomic rocket motors would automatically be activated. But, in fact, it activated the, the second stage. Yeah, one of the stages there, which actually activates... All the rover engines and the couplers, uh, which is why you are seeing rovers just flying out of the design. Uh, that's just really bad. Anyway, I restarted it here. Uh, F9'd it, of course. Yeah, it's always good to do a bit of a quick save, everyone. Hold down F5. It's very good. But anyway, at this point, uh, I don't want to risk it again, so I'm just uh, right-clicking all the, the motors and just automatic, just manually turning on those engines. And there we go. Everything seems to be in working order. It doesn't look like there's very much fuel in this design, but we can always... I've actually added a few docking ports so that we can add uh, more fuel tanks uh, so we can get around. Uh, this thing definitely can go to the moon. But here's the thing. This carrier ship is not made to land on anything. Right? We're not landing on the planet or any moon. We That's why we have these rovers, and we will eventually add more rockets that will be landing on moons and planets. They will be designed specifically for those things. Right? Now, I don't know if we're going to be getting off. Uh, like, once we land on a moon or a planet, I'm not sure if we're going to be, you know, uh, getting off that planet and moon and returning back to the carrier ship. I don't see a per point in that. I would very much like there to be uh, ships just still staying next to the Easter egg so that we can always uh, refer to it easily. Uh, but anyway, that is it for you guys. That's it. Done. <laughs> I hope you guys enjoy this episode. More to come. Uh, yes. So see you next time. Bye.